What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a top tier Kyogre team that also features Weakness Policy Metagross and Life Orb Zapdos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who likes the videos and is a subscriber towards this channel. But out of the past four videos or in the past four videos for Series 11, we've been showcasing some absolute bangers of teams. Very, very strong teams to actually help you guys push Master Tier. So I feel like in the future videos, we're going to be using some off-meta teams and showcasing some off-meta Pokemon for you guys. But hey, let's get started with this team. In that top left corner, we have the one and only Metagross. And this Pokemon was not seen at all in Series 10 at all you've never seen him and now that the dynamax format is back we're going to be seeing a lot more of him because he is an absolute monster with dynamax he's got clear body as his ability weakness policy as his item and then it's got iron head stomping tantrum rock slide and protect for its move set right next to him in that top right corner we have urshfu fighting and dark type and this pokemon is an absolute beast in any single team you can legit bring him in on any team and he will thrive He's got Unseen Fist to hit through Protects, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap, and then we got Wicked Blow and Close Combat for heavy hitting stab moves, Sucker Punch for first turn priority stab, and Detect for our Protect move. Middle left is a top tier of Restricted Mon, and that is Kyogre over here, and Kyogre is still going to be pretty much the same from Series 10 to Series 11. Just, I feel like maybe Zassy might be better than him now, but Kyogre was the best Pokemon in Series 10, and now I feel like he's still top three in this series. I just feel like maybe Zassy can push it back, but that's pretty much it. Still an absolute god of a Pokemon in this series. But Drizzle ability to set the weather, Mystic Water to make our water moves do more damage, and then we got Water Spout and Origin Pulse for Stab, Thunder, which will hit 100% of the time in the rain, and protect for our final move right next to him is the one and only zapdos and zapdos didn't really get a lot of love in series 10 but now that dynamax is back this pokemon is back in the light it's got static as its ability life orb as its item thunderbolt hurricane heat wave and protect for its moves i cannot wait to show off this guy especially when dynamax he hits like a truck he can give you speed boost with max airstream and he can just take control of the battle Bottom left corner is a great support mod that works really well for this team, and that is going to be Tornadus. Prankster ability, Wakan Berry so we don't get one shot by lightning moves, and then we got Hurricane for stab, and it will actually be 100% hitting in the rain. Brutal swing the proc with this policy on our Metagross, Taunt to taunt opposing Pokemon, and Tailwind to take speed control for the battle. Final Pokemon on this squad is Rillaboom. Rillaboom's got that Grassy Surge, so we can have Terrain Control, Assault Vest, so we can soak up some special attacking shots. Then we got Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, U-Turn, and Fake Out. Nothing really too new for a Rillaboom. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Kyogre, Metagross, and Zapdos Series 11 team. If you guys been keeping up with my Series 11 content, you would know your boy was 9-0 in Series 11. Well, for recording, but I was playing off screen and I'm not going to lie, I lost three battles. Your boy lost three battles and that's pretty upsetting. So we're not technically undefeated in Series 11 anymore, but we are undefeated in our recordings for Series 11, which is still a great sign. We are 9-0 in recording. Let's try to keep the win streak rolling. We're hopping into battle number one, going up against a Zassian team that also features Landers. I'm guessing that thing is Life Orb. Life Orb Landers is probably back in this series. And then he also has the Regilecki, the Venusaur and Torkoal combo, and then Grimmsnarl for its final Mon. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I think Metagross can be really good here alongside with a Tornadus lead. I just think that can be super, super powerful. And then bringing in Kyogre for that weather control. He's definitely bringing in Torkoal for weather control. That is definitely an option. And I think final Pokemon could probably be our Urshfu. I'm really liking Urshfu, so I'm going to bring him in here, and that is going to be our squad. We're going to try to get Metagross ripping right off the bat. Hopefully, he doesn't lead the Venusaur. I mean, if he does, then what do I do from there? That's a good question. That's what I'm going to try to think. If he goes into the... Venusaur, then we know he's going to swap into Torkoal. In that case, we could Tailwind and potentially outspeed him. Would we outspeed him? Would our Metagross outspeed? I'm very curious. I'm very curious, but we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. But maybe I actually should have just lent this Zapdos. Zapdos probably would have been the call. But I know a Zapdos in a Tailwind could outspeed a Venusaur in the Drought. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go Grimstar on Zassian. Yo, I'm totally cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. So I could set up a Tailwind here. And then Brutal Swing next turn. What do I want to do? I could see him going into my Metagross, maybe with like a Secret Sword or something along those lines. We know he can't Dynamax the Zacian. And he's probably not going to Dynamax the Grimstarl. He might just fake me out. So I could go into here into a Quake if I really want to. I could just Brutal Swing. But chances are we have speed, right? 
Oh, I could just protect this turn and set up a Talon. That might do. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna set up a Talon and see what he's gonna do here as well. He might fake out my Tornadus. He might fake out my Tornadus. Let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's play. He could protect Zacian as well. So I'm gonna protect. He's not protecting Zacian because his protect would have came out first. He's a lot faster than me. And our Tailwind is out and about. So he's not gonna fake me out. We have our Metagross to protect it. Let's see what this dude does. He's gonna go for a Thunder Wave, which is totally fine. Actually, that's gonna slow us down a little bit, which is which is tough because our, then our Brutal Swing can't come out here. He's gonna go for that and a Behemoth Blade, and he reads my Protect. Yo, what a play by him. We have it to him all day. Should've Dynamax. Behemoth Blade probably gonna KO me, right? Yeah. So we're dead. I still might Dynamax. I still might Dynamax my Metagross. I don't know. Definitely gotta bring out probably Kyogre. Hmm. Definitely probably gonna bring out Kyogre here. Or do I just bring out Urshfu? Now let's bring out Kyogre. Let's save our Urshfu for the back end. But yeah, that's a tough start. That's a great read by him to take out Protect. Or to read the Protect. That was really, really good. But I'm guessing he has that... Uh, if I had to guess, he has to have that what's called in the back end. He has to have that Torkoal in the back end. And I think he is going to swap into Torkoal. But that said, I might just go into a Stopping Hatcher over on this slot. Because he might swap that out. So I'm just going to go here, Water Spout, into a Stopping Hatcher and see how this one plays out. Let's see what this dude's going to do. He could Protect. He could Protect, but still, Water Spout is going to do a great amount of damage, especially in the rain. It's Stab. We have Speed Advantage with the Tailwind, and we have Mystic Water as our item. So what are you going to do? We brought out Kyogre. We brought out a big threat. We're going to swap this ass. There it is, baby. This is why we stopped the Tantrum over on that slot. Bring out the Torkoal. Bring out the Torkoal, and I might just Dynamax. I might just Dynamax my Kyogre after this and change up the weather, or I might just go into my uh, what's called after this. A Metagross Dynamax and the light screen is out and about and I still feel like we pick up the KO onto the Torkoal no problem. Doubling down into it with super effective moves. Get this thing out of my face. Big old water spout coming out here. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. And then oh this thing has a berry. Oh please don't survive. Please don't survive. It actually might. And actually I'd be fine with that. Because then another water spout will still be able to KO there. Yeah water spout should be able to finish that off or should I go into an origin pulse? We'll do more damage. But I'm definitely going to Dynamax here and take out Grimstarl. And we're going to roll. And we're going to roll here. We're going to roll. Do I just Water Spout again? We have the speed. Yeah, Water Spout is going to be our biggest damage here. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to pick up the defense boost as well because that will work well up against this Zacian. And he's eventually going to get back out here. So let's get this Metagross Dynamax. You yeah, haven't practiced weak this policy. That was really my plan, but did outread me. He outread me hard. So, here goes our Dynamax. Finally sending it. Metagross getting out and about. We still have Earth Fruit in the back end, who is phenomenal. Especially because we have that Focus Ash. We have Sucker Punch rocking on it as well. So, we'll see how this one plays out. And the biggest part here is we're going to get a defense boost from the Max Steel Swing. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. Especially since he's playing Zassian. He's going to protect the Torkoal. He's going to Thunder Wave me. He's gonna Thunder Wave me. I still see Kyogre outspeeding that uh, Torkoal and picking up the KO as long as we're not paralyzed. See how this one plays out here. Here's our Steel Spike. We ripping. Give me that defense boost. Get him out of my face. He gone. The Grimstar is gone. Yo, Kyogre, I need you to land this. I need Kyogre to land this here. This could be wonderful. We need Kyogre to land this because this will KO this thing. Come on, Kyogre. Do him dirty here. Do him dirty. Love to see it. Love to see it. Take him out. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Okay, so he has two Pokemon left. One is Zacian, which he cannot Dynamax. And the second one is going to be the Pokemon he's going to die. So, let's just see how this one plays out. Let's just see how this one plays out. I wonder who it is, though. really do wonder who it is. We do have that plus one on defense, which is huge for us. It's going to be Venusaur. Ooh. Ooh. He could sleep out of me, which I don't like one bit. I don't like one bit. It's obviously just going to Dynamax him. I could protect, I could thunder. Uh, I'm probably going to quake here. Do I quake or do I steel spike? Hmm. Gene Stew here. Do I quake or steel spike? I think quake's gonna be your play. Give me that special defense boost. I'm gonna chip up onto the Zassian and I might protect you or do I just go into a water spout? Let's go into a water spout. Try to KO the Zassian. I, I probably should just swap my, uh, I probably should have swapped my Kyogre there or protected him. Maybe he thinks we're going to swap him. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. I probably should have swapped him. We probably should have tried to take weather control here. 
But there's a Dynamax for him, or the Gigantamax of the Venusaur. Absolute beast of Pokemon. I should have known this was the back end Pokemon. I should have known it was him considering he had Torkoal. But he's gonna make a move here. He's making the move. The Gigantamax for him here. And I do wonder what he's going into. I do want I do want to get a special defense boost here, which would be great for us. And the Tailwind Peter, I think it did. That scene is gonna protect, that's fine. We're still gonna be able to hit through that and get our defense boost or special defense boost. I should say. Finally, he's gonna fly through here and he's gonna take out my time. So actually, I guess I'm cool with that. Because if I would have swapped into Urshifu, that still would have KO'd him, even with the Sash, because the Vine Lash damage would have slowly chipped away. He shows you his life Lord. We're going to drop a Quake here, and we're going to get after it this way. Pinking up on this thing. Nice damage. Wonderful. Give me my special defense boost. So we have one more turn in Dynamax, and I could max guard, but I just don't see there being a point for us max guarding here. Special defense boost. Vine Lash damage is chipping away. Okay. I could also detect here. Tailwind is gone. Urshifu can come out onto the field. Uh, how do I want to do this? Another special defense boost and just take out Zacian. I think I detect into a, uh, yeah. Let's detect into a Quake. That's definitely going to be my play. We're going to detect into this max Quake. And we're going to take out the Zacian here. Well, it should be able to take out Zacian, right? I don't know. It's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it close. It is a max move. It is super effective. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. But yo, solid first battle. Solid first battle here. We did make a mistake by losing our Tornadus very early on into the game. But I'm thinking we're going to get this one. I think we're going to get this one. It's going to be close, but we do not want to lose our perfect record for recording. We don't want to lose it. We don't want to lose it. Let's see how this one plays. We're going to detect here. Putting up our blocks. Putting up our blocks. This thing is going to go into a Vine Lash into my Urshfu. Yep. Kind of saw that coming, that's why we detected there, which is phenomenal. And then we got that going in there, and then he is going to also sub up. You son of a biscuit, man! This thing subs, dude. What a play by him. He subs up. He subs up. Gotta give it to him, yo. What a play. He's going to sub up there, which is enormous. Which is enormous. Alright. Um, hmm. How much longer till this uh, sunlight fades? I'm really curious that one. I'm really curious to see how, how long till the sunlight fades. How much longer till the sunlight fades? Here goes our Dynamax turns up. Which rough. And it might only be one more turn for sun. Let's take a peek at it. It is. So it's one more turn for sun. I could protect you, which I'm probably going to do. And I, I am going to try to rip with a sucker punch. And do we think this thing is going to sub up? Hmm. What do we think he's going to do? I might just try to drop a close combat in or something. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try to get after it. Let's see what this guy does. Sun is gone after this. This is going to be his last turn. He's probably just going to go into another Vine Lash here. Try to hit up on, hopefully, my Metagross. Hopefully, he's hitting up on my Metagross. This could, this could be a big time protect. He goes to the Quake, and I think that is on Metagross. I think that is all Metagross, right? Yep. Metagross should be able to eat through the Protect. And we proc Policy, baby. We proc Policy here. Which is huge. But I think Urshfu does go down. I think Urshfu does drop here due to... Uh, due to what's it called? The Zassian here. Or hopefully Zassian is doubling down into me. Let's see. Make it happen. Make it happen. No way he does. He doubled down. He doubles down. Yo, close combat. Do some damage here. Take him out. Take him out. We do have Sucker Punch. We do have Sucker Punch. We do have Sucker Punch. But I don't know if Sucker Punch is going to be able to pick up KO. Let's see how this one plays out, dude. We need Sucker Punch to pick up KO here. We need Sucker Punch to pick up KO here. My last chip away. He doubles down into my Metagross, man. Metagross is definitely a threat on the field. But we are going to Sucker Punch. And then I think we are just going to drop an Iron Head. Go here. And then just sucker punch it over on this thing. Hopefully that can pick up the KO. That's not that much damage. But I think it should be able to. Let's see. He's going to protect. That's fine. That's fine. Metagross. Hit this thing with Iron Head. Do him dirty. Sucker punch is going to get blocked. And who goes first? He goes for a sleep powder. He misses. He misses my Metagross. Metagross KO. KO. 
Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, the Poke Guys on our side for battle number one. For battle number one, the Poke Guys is definitely on our side. Okay, so he doesn't have any double hitting moves. So I'm just going to hit this thing with a stopping tantrum and a close combat. And a close combat. It's definitely going to replay. Yo, dude, he missed his sleep. He missed his sleep powder, bro. We're not stopping tantrum. We're going to go Iron Head. Actually, Iron Head's actually 100, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so let's go Iron Head. Use that, and then just go into a close combat. He has no double hitting moves, so that's GG's. That is GG's. He's going to cancel battle here, yo. Poor guy. He's going to protect. And that would have done nothing because Urshfu can hit straight through it. That's GG's, yo. Pokey guys on our side. 1-0 to get this video started. And 10-0 for recordings for Series 11. I can't believe we won that last battle. That guy doubled down into my Metagross when he protected in the end. And then he missed his Sleep Powder. I think if he would have hit that Sleep Powder, that was the only like lucky part on our side. I think if he hit that Sleep Powder, it would have been super, super close. We still had a shot at winning that match. But he might have had the upper hand. But hey, we take those wins all day. We're sitting 10-0. In recordings for Series 11, let's hop into our second battle here. Going up against a Xerneas team that also features Braviary. And I haven't seen this Pokemon in a while. And I definitely want to use it in a recording soon now. Definitely want to use that Pokemon soon. He also has the Urshfu, the Meowstic, which rocks Prankster with Thunder Wave, uh, Fake Out, and I don't really know his other two moves, but that's really what it's there for. He also has Indeedee for Surge and Intimidate on that Incineroar. Um, I could definitely lead the Metagross. Metagross could be really, really good here, especially still typing up against that uh, Xerneas. It does have the bird. I think just we're just gonna proc policy right off the rip here. I think it is gonna be play. I think it is going to be the play here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I do really like that. I really do like that. We are gonna bring Zapdos in this battle. Zapdos can be really, really good. And then final Pokemon. I'm thinking just Kyogre. I'm thinking Kyogre. I'm thinking we go same squad here, but you know, just swap out the Earth food for the Zapdos. I really do like this. I really do like this, so let's rock out with it. Let's hop into our second battle and let's go back to back for this video. But I'm hoping we can just proc policy on Metagross this time and show off this thing to its fullest potential because last battle we weren't able to, which is really, really tough. But that's why I wish we did have uh, Protect on our Tornadas because Protecting is huge so much, especially up against Fake Outs. Because Fake Out can really mess up what's going on here. And I think he is going to leave Meowstic for a Fake Out. Yeah, so Meowstic is going to Fake Out. And I'm just going to hit up onto that uh, Xerneas with a max Steel Spike. Because that thing is definitely going to fake me out, right? Do I just Steel Spike onto it and pop a Tailwind next turn? This thing could be Rocket Alex, which as well. I'm just going to go with that, and I think I might go for a Brutal Swing here. I mean, if he fakes me out, he fakes me out. But that thing... It's usually only rock and fairy move, so I think we should totally be fine up against this thing. Let's see what happens here. We're Dynamaxing. I think he's going to go for a Fake Out or an Alex, which try to set up a Geomance. We shall see. We shall see. And I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day, and that is what do you guys want to see in the next series for ranked battles in Pokemon? What would you guys like to see? Would you guys like to see Dynamax go back away? Would you guys like to see like some Pokemon be restricted? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. But uh, he's going to end up going for the Protect. On the Xerneas, which is totally fine. We're going to Brutal Swing out here. Unless he's faking me out. He's going to Thunder Wave me. Well, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Brutal Swing's going to come out here. It's going to get blocked. We're going to proc Weakness Policy. And we still be, should be able to get off a decent amount of damage. Onto the Xerneas here. Onto the Xerneas. It's just dandy. So, Weakness Policy is proc. And do not be paralyzed, buddy. Do not be paralyzed. Get off this Steel Spike. Yes, sir. Steel Spike flying through here. Even through Protect, it should still be able to do a nice little chunk. Yep, yo, look at that damage. Look at that damage. I see him potentially swapping out the Meowstic. We're going for an ally switch. We're not the Meowstic, the Xerneas. But I'm going to hit up onto the Meowstic slot. Uh, what other Pokemon does he have? Are they physical attackers back there? Look at him stats. <laughs> look at him stats. Uh, so he does have... Oh, yeah, he does have physical attackers. So defense boost is the way to go with this one. I'm going to Steel Spike again, but I'm going to Steel Spike into this slot. And I am going to set up a Tailwind. Let's get our speed back. I could taunt the Xerneas, but I can see him maybe like doing something. Yep, there's the Alice Switch. Yes, sir. There's the Alice Switch. Get this thing out of my face. Get this thing out of my face. Let's Tailwind up. Metagro should have... Ah, uh, does it have speed now? Paralyze and Tailwind. Let's see. He Geomances. It's all good. It is all good. Because, please, Pokegods, no Paralyzes here. No Paralyzes. We make a great read. 
I was thinking he was either swapping or ally switching. Your man's flies through. Let's see what else one plays out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. What you mean? Oh my lord, I hate this game. Hate it so much. Okay, so now how are we sitting with this one? How are we sitting with this one? How are we sitting with this one? Let me see this thing's stats. Special defense is I don't see him taking out my medicals. I'm just gonna go into here. And I could taunt. Or I could hard swap. You know what? I'm just gonna go straight for a hurricane. I'm gonna go straight for a hurricane here. I'm trying to get off some damage. See how this one plays out. Run away flying through here. I was gonna taunt him. Which I probably should have. Probably should have, but it's all right. He could paralyze me up. God dang, paralyze. That's some demons gonna fly through here. That just dumps on Tornadus. That just dumps on Tornadus. So, Metagross's last turn here. We finally get rid of this Xerneas. And, ooh, this one's looking tough for us, man. It's dang Meowsic. Meowsic doing us dirty. Meowsic could really be doing us dirty. Because he's just gonna be paralyzing up all my Pokemon. He's gonna be doing that. He's just gonna be doing me dirty there. So now we can definitely bring out Kai Ogre. What do I bring out Zapdos? Zapdos could be, could be solid here. Let me bring out Kai Ogre. I think, I think we set the weather here. We can get rolling with that. He does have Dynamax ready to rock. And I think he's going to bring out like a Pokemon like Brady already through the Dynamax here. Let's see. Nursery, Nursery. Nursery Ears could be the Dynamax one. That is uh, that's not the, that's not the water one, which is good. He does hit through Protects, which <laughs> I got to watch out for. He's going to paralyze me. We already know that's coming. We already know the Paralyze is coming, so I am going to drop an Iron Head into you. I'm just going to Water Spout. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. Let's see what he does. He's not going to Dynamax. He's just going to straight up Thunder Wave, and he misses. That's wonderful. That is huge, man. Finally, he misses that. Water Spout comes out here, and it, and it knocks out the Meow Stick and brings this thing down the red. Or brings it down to his Focus Ash. So that's huge. Um, I think he's going to hit up in my Kyogre, and I would rather him hit up in my Kyogre. Let's see. Wicked Blow flies through. Or no, that, that's got to be Medi, right? It's got to be Medi, yep. Medi, just cool. Okay, so now we're sitting here. We have Sucker Punch with our... Oh, we don't have Urshifu. We don't have Urshifu. <laughs> Do we still have a turn left in Tailwind? We might. Why do I think we have Urshifu? We have a turn left in Tailwind. We're thriving. We're thriving. Do what he does. He's going to send out his final mod. This is going to be his Dynamax mod. And it's... Ooh, is it Incineroar? Incineroar, that's a little tough for him. That's a little tough for him because we do have the weather on our side. Which, he can change up, obviously. We have two special attackers, that's huge. And Tailwind is sitting here for one more turn. Tailwind is sitting here for one more turn. So, I think he does protect here. He might double. Oh, he does, probably doesn't have double protect. We could go into a Hurricane. Probably our best bet. Stab. Maybe get some Ducks rolling. And we're just going to go into a Water Spout. Lovely little Water Spout, yet again. Let's see if he protects. He's got to protect. He's got to detect you, right? It's a must. Unless he's not rocking it. Unless he's choice. Oh, no. He's not choice. He's focus ash. So, let's see. Let's see, yo. Let's see how this one plays out. He did play my weakness policy Metagross really, really well. He detects here, and he's not Dynamaxing. What's this guy doing? Oh, he wants to use his fake out. He wants to use his fake out. That's fine by me. Hurricane is going to fly. Get chipping away on this thing. Give me the duck. Show me the ducks. No ducks, dude. I never get the ducks, man. I never get the ducks. Tailwind's gone. And, hmm. Let's see what we do here. Fire. Hurricane again. Yeah, Hurricane again into a Origin. Into an Origin Pulse because we did take some damage. And, uh, that will neglect a lot of damage from the spell. This water spell that's more damage than more HP you have. You know, this guy played our Medico super, super well. Super, super well. And there's his Dynamax. Mm. Yo, I want this win. I want this win, man. Looking to go 11 and 0 in recordings, but he has his Dynamax left. So if our Kyogre, our Kyogre should definitely be able to outspeed him. So if our Kyogre can eat up this uh, Wicked Blower close combat, we should be thriving here. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see it. Hurricane comes out, chipping away, and will Kyogre outspeed? Kyogre's definitely not outspeeding the Urshifu, right? Yeah, Urshifu's gonna go. He's gonna go for a Wicked Blow, probably in the Kyogre. The Kyogre, I need you to eat this, buddy. Yep. Yep. Kyogre, go ahead. Go ahead. You're up, buddy. Yes, sir. GG's. GG's, baby. Let's get it, yo. I have been so good in Series 11. 11-0 in recordings. Can we get yet another perfect record? 
Can we get yet another perfect record? We're gonna see in this next battle. Let's get it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some sad news to inform you guys with. We disconnected our last two battles. Not showing them on recording, because why would I waste you guys' time? But I loaded up, went two turns in each battle. Actually, the first game I went one turn, and we disconnected. That's two more losses on our record. That is tough. So technically, we're 11-5, because I lost three off screen, and then I disconnected twice. But on recording, we are 11-0, which is really, really good. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves another perfect record. If I can do this, I can do this. That will be amazing. We're going up against a very strong assassin team with Life Orb, uh, Life Orb Dragapult, I should say. I think Dragapult has a Life Orb Assault Vest probably onto that Landorus. Then he also has Regilect for Speed Control. Intimidate on that Incineroar. And then final Pokemon is the Indeedee. And I could just lead straight up you. But I kind of want to lead this Tornadus. Or I kind of want to lead this Zapdos alongside with Kyogre. I think that could be really, really good for us. Now, I'm going to lead these two. So we can get Pop in here. I am going to bring Urshfu, and I think Final Pokemon is going to be good. I think we keep Tornadus and Metagross out of this situation here. I think we keep him out of here. We did showcase him in the first two. We did showcase him in the first two battles, which we did really well with. Not to its fullest potential, because obviously its fullest potential is just, it's just sweeping out. But if he did not get that lucky Paralyze on me, then we would have been buzzing. Our Metagross would have just been steamrolling through everybody, dominating the battle. But he's going to end up leading the Dragapult alongside with Regilecki. So I could definitely see an E-Web coming out here and a Dynamax onto the Dragapult slot. So I might just protect my Kai over here and then Dynamax and go for an Airstream and take out the Regilecki. That might be our play. That might be our play. This probably is our play. I could, uh, mm, can't airstream onto you. Uh, we are still gonna airstream. We're gonna need speed here, and I am just going to protect here. I am just going to protect this Pokemon. This lovely little Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Are we gonna see Dynamax from him? Yep, Dynamax Pult coming in here. Pult is an absolute beast, Dynamax. Good old Dragapult. Good old Dragapult is back in the format. I knew this one was going to be tough. Maybe we should have just let a Tailwind Pokemon. Maybe we should have just let our Tailwind Pokemon. Would have been great. Tailwind set up. But I just my, my thought process was let's just go into some Airstream to get speed that way. But we Dynamaxing as well. Both Life Orb Pokemons are Dynamaxing. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We're protecting our Metagross. Or not our Metagross. We're protecting our Kai over here, which is great. And we shall see how this one plays out here. Hopefully he's not going for E-Web, but I definitely see him going for e web right? Maybe we'll go for a Thunderbolt or Volt Switch into my Kyogre slot. Let's see his dudes play. We setting up the shields, baby. Block up. Go ahead, go for a Thunderbolt. No E-Web. No E-Webs. No E-Webs. I'm going to scream. Ah! Ah! We're dead! We're so dead! We're so dead! We survived. We survived. We survive. We're gonna die to life orb. We know that for a fact. Oh, dude, Screech doing us dirty. Screech doing us dirty. That's rough news. That is rough news. That is rough news. That is rough news. Screeching me? Screeching me? We get a speed boost, which is great. But yo, this thing is screeching me, dude. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. He does not like that one bit. Ah. Uh. It screeched on, man. Let's bring out you for the sucker punch, man. Bring you out here for sucker punch. We getting sucker punches on out here. We gonna do the little sucker punch action. Man. I do have speed on that thing, so I am just gonna go sucker punch. I might just go for a lovely little water spout here, or you know what? Mm. Do we go water spout? Is a plus one Kyogre gonna be able to outspeed that thing? If not, I kind of want to swap it to the Robin, right? I don't think we are going to be able to speed that thing. I say we just swap it to the real Bumir. Really, really, let's do a swap. Let's do a swap. We still have a chance here. We still have a nice little chance here. Oh, dude, that Screech. I was not expecting that. Not expecting the Screech in the slightest. Not in the slightest bit, man. We're going to get this terrain rolling for us. Let's see what this thing goes into. Let's see what happens here. He's going to guard. Smart little cookie play there. Smart little cookie play. Circuit Punch can come out, out here. It's going to fail. And this thing is going to go for a Thunderbolt. So good little swap for me. We're able to eat. I can go into a Grassy Glide over onto him. 
And I think a Sucker Punch will still be able to take that thing out, right? Sucker Punch should just be able to slap up on that guy. Let's go for yet another Sucker Punch. And then we go into a lovely little Grass God here. A lovely little Glide. Because Glide usually can't take out Regilecki unless they're defense full. They don't withdraw the Regilecki. That's totally fine. I mean, who are you going for? Who are you sending out here? I'm going to send out the old Elena. I'm thinking I'm going for a horsepower. But really just wants that Intimidate. Which Intimidate might be able to keep his what's called alive. Let's drag a pull alive. Hopefully not. Let's see this. Make it happen. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. Awesome. That thing's dead. Do we still have our Sash? I think we still have our Sash, right? Which is huge. Grass Guy is going to fly out here. Which is lovely. Get some damage on this thing. We are minus one, which I don't like. I might swap back now. What do I do from here? What do I do from here? I definitely gotta keep my Earth's Fruit in here. Earth's Fruit is just lovely. Earth's Fruit is just a lovely little mod. He's gonna bring out Zassy. He's gonna bring out Zassy, which, which, which we don't like. We don't like one bit. Not one bit. And come on, man. I don't want to lose this battle. So are both our Dynamax Pokemon are gone. They're out. Out of the situation. We got to go for a Wicked Blow here. Into you. And I could protect. I could U-turn. I could Glide. Glide might be a play. Actually, let's High Horsepower. Let's High Horsepower here. We do have the Sash. He is going to go into the Fairy Move on the list. Triggering the Sash. Or Wicked Blow. Ooh. Or he's going to go back into Blade. I'm gonna go Blade into who? Into my yeah, Earthspring. It's gonna trigger Sash, and hopefully, hopefully, we move first. We can take out this uh, this Lando here with Wicked Blow. That's what happened. Is it? Oh, we did we do a good thing? Did we do good? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, we don't like this game. I don't like this game one bit. Rock Side's gonna be able to take me out. That's rough news. I really want that KO there. I really wanted that one. So we're going to still be able to get off a of high horsepower. It is minus one, which I don't like. Maybe we can get a crit. No. We do not. No crits allowed. This thing is soaking up, and that's pretty much wraps it up. For so at this time, we bring out Kyogre. We bring out Kyogre, and we grassy glide into the Lando alongside protecting Kyogre. We got we to gotta, we gotta make something happen. Here. How many turns left in the rain? Mmm. <laughs> mm. Do we still protect? Maybe he reads protect. Let's go into this. Let's glide and finish this thing off. We're not gonna protect. I really want this rain turn here. He protects him. Okay. Okay. I think he's just maybe double protecting. Does not double protect. That's fine. Alright, so you're dead. He gets rid of the rain. Tough news. Origin Pulse getting blocked. And it comes out to a 2v2 situation. A 2v2 situation. Can Jeans do it? I don't know, dude. Zassian's out and about right now. Pokemon's super scary. He's super scary. He is super scary. Who's his final mod? Anybody but that Braviary. Anybody but the Braviary. Let's see. Did he have wait, did he have Braviary on this team? Is this a team of Braviary? Why do I think Braviary is here? Huh? Why do I think Braviary is here? Oh no, it was on the team that we disconnected with. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, yo, where's Braviary at? But yo, no, it's Regilecki. It is Regilecki. Down to his final two Pokemon here. Uh, and I don't like this one bit. I don't like it one bit. I'm going to protect Kyogre now. And I am going to grass you out here. That's my plan. That's my plan. He's going to protect. Mmm. Mmm. He protects here. Maybe he's going for Behemoth Blade onto my Kyogre. That would be great. So we protect. He protects. He goes for... Or we go for Grassy Guy. Just block. And then he goes for... Behemoth Blade. No, he reads my protect. Son of a biscuit. They reads my protect. We might be able to eat that, right? Eat it. That's whack. That is rough. That is rough. That is going to be G to the G's, man. All good things must come to an end, guys. All good things must come to an end. And our win streak is going to come to an end right here, right now. That's rough news. That is rough news. That is super, super rough. I mean, we'll go for an origin pulse. Maybe he misses an attack. And we eat, and then we just whip up on this thing. Nope, there's still their bolt. We eat that one. Miss. Miss! Miss! 
GG's. G to the G's. All good things have to come to an end. An 11-0 run for Series 11. And we would finally lose our first match to a Zassian team over here. To a wonderful Zassian team. Tough little battle here. We go 2-1 for today's video. Not too bad. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Got the show off this team pretty much to its fullest potential. Metagross was phenomenal. Won us our first two battles. And then in that third and final battle, that screech from that Regilecki did us dirty and ended our win streak. 11-0, guys. Not bad for Series 11. Now we are sitting at 11-1. So maybe I should keep a record for recording. Maybe I should just keep my record for recording just like in my head or somebody can do it in the comment section down below. I think that'll be pretty cool. But yo, this team is fire. Definitely really, really good for ranked double battles. You got that Metagross with the weakness policy combo. You got the Zapdos who's an absolute beast when he's Dynamax. And then you obviously have that Kyogre who is just phenomenal in every single situation. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.